Boy, these uh, vocal exercises sure are weird, but I guess $500 an hour, it's worth the money, right? He doesn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, I am a disgusting pig. Hi, I'm B. Skizzy. This is West of Loathing. Let's do it. So last time we, uh, well, we went to the petting cemetery and petted some skeletons. That was kind of weird. Came here to the Kellogg Ranch and I got some stuff. Met a ghost who doesn't like, um, doesn't like people touching themselves, I guess. Now, uh, we're gonna go into the gymnasium and continue our, uh, our exploring. Your body is still wrong. That's rude. You don't even know my body. Ow, ow, ow. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. Let's move on. Oh, look, it's the barn. Let's go inside. Whoa, there's a lot of grain in here. If you ever need a lot of grain, you know where to find it. Unlimited grain. Wow. Look at all this grain. I got a bag of mixed grain. Big coil of barbed wire. And a needle. Oh, can I get some poo? A bag of shroom grow, you betcha. All right, shroom grow, where you at? Give it to Gary. A deliciousness. Groovy. Oh, what a good haul. Give me some more shroom grow. I want to watch Gary get huge. Huge. Oh. Endless expanse of boring agave in that direction. Let's make some tequila, dude. One tequila, two tequila. <laughs> no more tequila for me, bro. All right, we're gonna move on to old granddad. You come across a deserted campsite. There are signs of a struggle, but only but the only intact object is a crate with military stencils on it. You think they're military, at least. It's hard to tell with all the mushrooms. Oh yeah, the crate is also like covered with mushrooms. I kind of buried the lead there. It looks pretty flimsy, but I'm not 100% sure you want to touch it. Open with a crowbar. There's lots of stuff in here. Sir, yes sir, we got some stuff, y'all. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, oh, look at old granddad. What, your granddad? Where? No, no, the really big cactus over there. A famous goblin place named Old Granddad. But aren't goblins related to cactuses? An honorary title. I see. Well, heck, let's check it out. Ooh, nice exterior. Very prickly. The guard blocks your path. Hey, hi. No climbing for humans. I'm here for taking back a jar of, jar of jelly beans, you goblin stealing. Oh, what? Jelly beans. Little colorful sugary things. Oh, little fruit rocks. Yeah, those. Those are for the pile. The what? Anyway, no upstairs for your humans. Hmm, maybe we can trading? No trading, but you can bribing me. Okay, cool. What are you wanting? A candy bar. A good human candy bar of the bubbles having. You know it? I'll see what I can do. Candy bar. What kind of candy bar has bubbles? I mean, there's those arrow. That's not what I want. Let's open the map. Okay, we'll go to the buffalo pile. There's a goblin marching down the trail in a soldier's uniform, the pants of which have been seriously pinned up to account for the goblin's stubby little legs. It salutes when it sees you. Hello! Well, hello, what's up? I'm soldiering! Yes, I can see that. I didn't think there were any goblins in the military. What's your unit? What? Where are uniform getting? From a dead soldier man's. So I'm a soldier now. Not quite sure. Not quite how that works. Okay, so we're fighting a goblin now. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I'm so much more powerful. Okay. Bean Goblin. Gollum. Oh my. Wow. Okay, what do we have? Uh... Okay, I could use my fungicide. I'm pretty sure we can kill him anyways, though. Hehe, <laughs> a 
take that, you filthy goblin. Purple brain pin. Award to soldiers who were smart enough to go AWOL when the cows came home. Oh, it was seven mysticality. That's that's pretty big. All right. Let's take a look at that. What do I have? My revolting brooch. Yeah, we're going to replace that. Oh, yeah. I got my brain pin. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. What do you have to say, Gary? Holy crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is? Oh, it appears to be a giant pile of buffalo skeletons. Why? I don't know. I guess it beats leaving them strewn all over everywhere. This isn't creepy at all. I'm totally comfortable. Oh, wow. Well, look at all this stuff on the ground. Holy crap. Where am I? It's covered with big beakers. Okay, I got a beaker. Lemonade, ichor, milk, and blood. Ooh, this music is awfully ominous. Atop the slab, there's a skeleton shaped indentation with a buffalo skull shaped indentation where the normal, hu normal human skull shaped indentation should be. That's a good thing to keep in mind if you end up with the possession of the bones necessary to fill the indentation. You look through the bars and see hundreds of buffalo human skeleton hybrids locked in there. Three to a cell. The keys are hanging right to the door. You could let some out if you wanted. They look pretty angry. Yeah, just hang out. These shelves are filled with hundreds of crates, each full with the buffalo and human bones. Alright, I got a box of buffalo bones. What a creepy location this is. Oh yeah, Wee. Advanced bean craft, time to do some reading y'all. Okay, recipe that's been scratched out and replaced with a bunch of paranoid. Okay, so worry increases your maximum HP. Use the old bean mysticality uncanny presence. Let's use the old bean. You read the meditation techniques and spend a few hours practicing them. Okay, increase mysticality by five. Unfortunately, you get so good at clearing your mind that you completely lose your memory of where you left the book. Dang it! Yay, I'm flushing toilets. What's this? Cryptic note. It's time you gather. You started gathering clues over the whole perambulating dead situation that's going around these parts. I should check that out. You open your necroidist journal and examine the information you've collected so far. You found that weird ley line diagram, but don't know how to interpret it. You'll need to find somebody to help you. Somebody smart or somebody who knows a lot about magic. Hmm. Alrighty. If you say so. Bones rule! Skull? Yeah! <laughs> what is this? Oh, introductory next mex. You settle in amongst the thick black robes. It's pretty comfortable. You wait and wait. And finally, hear some noises outside as a couple of cultists pass through on their way to get somewhere to somewhere from somewhere to somewhere else. You don't catch much of what they say. We do hear what you do hear is, "Get it straight, Doug. Milk before ichor. Soldier wakes up quicker. Milk before ichor. Soldier wakes up quicker." Okay. You wait a little longer, and the cultists pass through again. This time, you overhear something different. It's milk before blood. Ritual is good, Doug. Why can't you get this? Probably because it doesn't rhyme. This is the hot dog. You wait a while longer and the cultists pass through again. This time you hear something different. Good to strike, Doug. Something different. This is the same thing. Okay, so milk before blood. Ritual is good. Milk before ichor. Soldier wakes up quicker. So, milk, blood, ichor. Milk, blood, ichor, and then lemonade? Is that the... Okay, let's go try it out. See what's what. A very sloppy cot. Oh, I don't have a lock pick. Lock pick. Pick the lock. I got a black hood. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty good. Uh, well, I like my chef's hat. Plus, it's got other, other benefits. Let's go. Hello? Oh, we're back at the beginning. Okay, so it was...
Okay. Milk. Blood. Icker. The liquid in the beaker begins to bubble. Steam rises from the beaker as the reaction intensifies. The intensity of the reaction fuses the icker spigot into a useless mass of metal. The boiling subsides, and what's left in the beaker is... When the smoke clears, you're left with a beaker full of a liquid that is unmistakably buffalo reanimating liquid. I mean, duh, just look at it. It's unmistakable because somehow the reaction caused the beaker to become labeled, and the label says it's buffalo reanimating liquid. That's just science. <laughs> I got some fun. Holy cow! Wow, milk, milk, lemonade. That's how the fudge is made. Wow. Nice. Let's drink that stuff, yo. Or eat it. It's fudge. We're not gonna drink. <laughs> You can't drink fudge, you dingus. You dump the entire beaker of fudge in your mouth and revel in it. Fudgemental. Ah, uh, fudge. Mm -hmm. Let's try it out. Don't tell me what to do. Holy moly, look at all these fellers. I got six. And this costs four. Okay. Bean gum is practically useless, but we'll do it anyways. The Great Northern Blizzard! Wow. Should be... Sure, I guess we'll... Uh, yeah, fill the lane with peeps. My golem! My precious! You were killed as a precious! Mm -hmm. Well, this has gone totally awry. Be uh, 37, 30. Mm. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to really, uh, really step it up here. Oh, goodness, I'm gonna have to use all my stuff, y'all. Smelling salts. Does anything take one AP? Lava fava. Okay. Um. Sniff the smelling salts, I guess. Is there anybody that's... Okay. Goodbye. I'm dead. So dead. Frickity frack, y'all. Uh, I lost... I lost all my... All my fudge. Hmm. My fudge! Oh, fudge. No, that's not what we want. Hi, Lloyd. How did dirty. 
Alright. Say see you later. Alright, guys. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. We're gonna talk to Lloyd in just, uh... Just a moment here for the next episode. <laughs> yeah, but, uh... Anyways, thanks again for watching. Uh, leave a, feel free to leave a like if you like what you saw. Um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know of other games you might want me to play in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, keep on adventuring. Keep on adventurizing. I think that's actually how it is. But uh, yeah, see you next time on West of Lothian. Bye, y'all.